Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over for loops in SAS. But before we get into that, I wanted to make note of this website right here. Um, it's michaelpmcmillan.com. And Mike McMillan is a very talented designer and developer out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. And he is the one who designed us our beautiful logo, as you can see here. And uh, it's just really great. We're really, really happy with it. And you know, you should check out his site. He does a lot of great work. So I just wanted to point you that direction before we got started. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use SAS to write a for loop and we're going to increment something uh, every single round. So basically what I want to do is I want to add a margin to each one of these paragraphs and I want to do it one through four. So what I've done here is on this index file, um, you know, I just have pair one, pair two, pair three. And these aren't necessarily something I would name my classes right now, but for this example, it works perfectly fine. So uh, as you can see, we just have pair hyphen one through four. So the SCSS we've been working with is pretty similar, except for I don't have any classes on any of the paragraphs really, uh, other than this one that we ran before where we changed the background color. So to get started, let's just write our for loop. So to do that, we're going to do it just like we did our functions, just like we did our each statement. And we're going to start off with an at, and then we're going to say at four, and then we're going to have our incrementing variable. And this is going to be uh, just, we're going to call this dollar sign I. So uh, now we're going to decide what our loop is looping through. We're going to say from one through four. So you actually type one, through four and then brackets. So what this is really saying is that it has this value i and it's gonna start at one and every single time it loops through this, it's going to increment this i by one until it gets to four and then that will be its last time through. So if you remember before when we use interpolation to get the value of i, we're actually gonna do that for our class name. So we're gonna start off this by saying dot and then we said our class was par hyphen. If you remember the interpolation, it's really just pound brackets and then your variable name inside here. So it's just I. So this is going to output par hyphen one, par hyphen two, par hyphen three, just like we had before. And then inside of brackets, we're going to put our CSS and we're going to say margin left. Actually, let's do this margin right for fun because that's awesome, that's a lot of fun. Okay, and we're going to say, um, actually let's do this 20 pixels, and we're gonna multiply it by our variable i. So every single time through, it's gonna get this margin right more and more and more. Okay, so let's say this, and let's look at our CSS, and let's scroll down, you can see pair one has a margin right of 20 pixels, pair two has a margin right of 40 pixels, 60 and 80. So let's check it out, let's see what happened, refresh, as you can see, our margin right is slowly, every single time, incrementing and getting a little bit further and further out. It looks by 20 pixels. So that's the basics of a for loop. You can do all sorts of stuff with a for loop, but the basic premise is, is that you are going from a number to another number, um, and that's pretty much as far as it goes. You can start at anything you choose. Let's say if we started at 2 and went through 8, it would do all of those, but of course we don't have paragraphs for all of those values, so it doesn't really much matter in this example. So you won't see that. But I'd let you know that you can go and increment straight through anything. So that's using a for loop in SAS. In the next lesson, we're gonna go over while loops. And a while loop is just a little bit more advanced version of a for loop in SAS. It allows you to control such things like your uh, incrementing amount. So you're not just going from you know, one number every single time, add one till you get to another number. So it will just give you a few more options in your SAS arsenal. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. We love hearing from you. All right, thanks, bye.